Montanu. Dimitrescu. Popescu. Marucoyu. Again, there's always somebody supporting wide. Dimitrescu it is, and Dimitrescu! And a player based in the Premier League in England is the first player to score against Terry Venables' national side. They've deserved it on the balance of play. Trescu played it in. And Dumitrescu, who finished. Yeah, just got a bit in front of the boy, did very well, because he's almost on the half volley, just behind him, hooks it, and actually keeps it down, shoots off the surface, thoroughly deserved goal. It's a delightful move right from the back. I mean, it'd be worth showing it from a coaching point of view, right from out of the defence. Every pass was perfectly weighted. The person who was receiving possession never had to worry at all about controlling. Throw down clears. Down by Shearer, and he scores! It's that lovely habit again for the man from Newcastle, Robert Lee. Goals in droves for his club, and his first chance at international level, he wasn't going to miss. Change the atmosphere at the end of a half which has been controlled in the main by Romania good stuff Robert Lee well that was a typical run wasn't it great vision from Alan Shearer there to pick him out one touch to control it doesn't snatch at it waits for it to come down keeps it on the floor excellent finish but it does change the pattern doesn't it of the half time te team talk a very relieved England team, I'm sure, going in, just time to kick off, and it's going to be a better cup of tea now. Yeah, the taste will be sweeter, but... Assured. But um, England certainly didn't uh, de uh, deserve to lose that match, but at times I got the impression they were outskilled, Alan. I thought Romania was sensational up to the final third. Their touch, their technique, their pass and their movement were unbelievable. I don't think England can play that way simply because they haven't got the players. To play that way, you've got to have 10 outfield players that are comfortable in possession. I thought where England failed tonight was they really didn't play to the strengths and getting it wide, getting in behind the Romanian defence and crossing it, putting quality crosses in and finishing them off that way because the Romanians are susceptible to that type of play. I think he's tried a system out, it hasn't worked for him, but he's better trying it here than when we come to the finals in two years' time. But, Jimmy, can you win major championships in international football these days by playing that sort of way that Alan describes, just banging in the crosses? Well, Jackie Charlton manages to do it here and there, doesn't he? Because they play very direct football and they've had good results, far better than England has, up to a certain level. But it isn't pleasant to watch and it isn't pleasant when it's not really done well. I thought tonight, you know, hurried crosses, hopeful crosses into the penalty area were too much a pattern of the play little imagination, far too stereotyped. Although, we got the goal from it. <laughs> so you could laugh at me, as you did, when I was complaining about uh, the number of crosses that were being pitched in. Mm -hmm. Now let's pick out the one or two of the individuals. I mean, Terry mentioned Letizia there. I think that he thought he was okay. Yeah, uh, I don't think he was brilliant. You know, he's, he's had a sensational season. He picks up a loose ball here. And if he'd have scored, he'd have been goal of the century. Never mind goal of the season because he, he just chips it up evades a tackle and he hits it first time left peg and if that goes in it's a fantastic goal it's typical Letizia but he didn't do enough of it for me on the night how do they do that I know how they do this this is just a much easier skill a little gentle chip on the shearer's head he has got a couple of beautiful feet and it nearly produced a goal but uh, not consistent not in the game enough which is what other managers have found wrong with his play. I think the biggest thing is that you've got to adjust to different players in different systems and you can't do that in one match. You've got to give them three or four matches to adjust to the, the different people in the team. He simply didn't get enough of the ball. 
Uh, and Lee scored the goal, and it was a terrific start for him. He enjoyed it, as he's already said. But what was your overall impression of him? Well, I thought it was a, a typical Lee goal, and it's reminiscent of David Platt, really. Lasso ball into the box. Shearer gets up, good header down. Lee gets on the end it, brave and typical Lee, hits into the ground. And he's drifted into that position, and I thought it was a superb goal from him. Shearer's unselfishness again, laying it on, beautifully uh, guided header into his path. But Robert Lee at Charlton was a nervous finisher, and the wonderful thing is to see the confidence he had there in going on to that pass. No doubt about it now. He knows he can score goals at the highest level, and he has the confidence to do it. He's also had wonderful balance and determination and a very powerful shot. The two players were that we've just mentioned were quiet because Romania had all the possession. You yes. know, they were able to keep it for, it, for long but periods both, of the game. Both got a future in the England setup, would you say? I think you've got to give them another chance. Yes. I think it's very unfair of these foreign teams to come to Wembley and hold the ball like that all the time and keep <laughs> it away really. from us. Let's look at their goal, Dimitrescu. Um, from the England point of view, perhaps. Uh, yeah, well, it was a good pass and move from the Romanians, but you've got to watch for number five here, the England captain, Tony Adams. He tracks back, tracks back, and just watch here. He tries to play offside. Loses Dumitrescu, and it's a good cross and a good finish, but I thought it could have been avoided. Well, you, it was really a basic fundamental mistake, and there's a centre-half who's never made one like that in his life, uh, admitting it on behalf of the England captain. Who am I uh, to say that? But I just wonder whether Jones might have anticipated it, but if you play offside from the centre of the defence like that, I think you leave them with no chance whatsoever to cover up behind you. Now, we saw Popescu interviewed there, I think he was saying, I think I understood it, that he felt he should have got a red card for that pull back on Shearer. No well, doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. Jim? Yeah. Well, um, it, it does not need us. Uh, lovely of Terry to use the word experts, but it does not need an expert to know that the FIFA instructions and the application of the laws clearly say that that player should be sent off. The only point, there's his arm up, he drags him down, he's in a clear goal-scoring position. Um, the, the point about it is, is, is there a different kind of football? Is it different if you played at Wembley in a friendly match or if you played in a, a European competition or on a local park or whatever? I mean, the, the laws should the be consistent. No, and the, no, the law should be consistent for all kind of matches. Otherwise, players have no chance. How can players react at the speed that they have to react uh, on one day in one way and another day in a separate way? So. There's a, there's a long way, to, I get your point, Jim, there's a long way to go to the European Championship. Where, where would you sort of see England's potential at this moment? They've still got a great chance of winning it. They've got a tremendous record at Wembley. I think that he's tried a system tonight, it hasn't worked. He'll try something else next month. And he, he'll have learned a lot from tonight because it's the first time under Terry Venables that England have played quality opposition. And there's a few players around. I mean, there's Platt and Beardsley to come back in. Good players to come back in. I'd love to see back natural passing players. I mean, the balance... Uh, to, uh, w was wrong, I thought, in the team today. But what I would like to see is Terry Venables picking the team that he really feels is the team that's going to get Hold right. on a minute, I haven't finished. <laughs> and not the one, not the one that he's pressurised. I was going to, to agree pick. with you. Hold on a minute. The first time and not the one that he's pressurised to pick by the public and the press. I want to see Terry or Venables' you. team. <laughs> or you. <laughs> Don't pick agree. my sooner, team for goodness sake. Sooner or later, he's got to pick his best And side. certainly not a Scotsman's <laughs> team, because you never can trust him. Let's, let's give him those marks that he's dying to hear.